B patterns. There's three B patterns in my photo album called Q cards. There's the honey bee, the Australian blue banded bee, and the bumblebee. You can take copies of those and you can do whatever it is that you want to do with them. They're not copyrighted in any way, so feel free to experiment all you like. I do two drawings and then I take the drawings down to my local stationer and ask them to laminate them. One I keep as a cartoon pattern, so I could use this for stained glass or I could use it for little tests, whatever it is. So it becomes really handy and it's quite solid and wipeable. Then on the second one, I cut that out for the patterns without getting too carried away. So when you're cutting it out for the patterns, always ensure that any edges that are together, that like this, that you cut off the line that you've drawn. Because these are fairly free, these patterns. Think of the line that you draw as the grout line. You can see how this one's had the grout line cut off completely. With the wings, I've just cut the bits. Whoops. The grout line off where the where there's an overlap and i haven't worried about the outside because we are dealing with mosaics and we're sort of fairly free with that but if you needed to be precise you'll cut off all the lines that you draw i've left the b body hole and you'll see that uh, the reason behind that when we look at cheek cutting this little guy you can imagine how fiddly this would be to cut all those separate strips, get all the grout lines off. But if you want to do that, you can. If you were a stained glasser doing sun catches, you would definitely want to do that. But for mosaics, we don't need to worry. So in the, in the collection of patterns, there's the lovely honeybee, the lovely Australian blue banded bee pattern, and the lovely chubby little bumblebee. We will look at um, this one as the sorry the honeybee already constructed and pasted and ready to rock and roll. In the workshop, we will do we will uh, cut and construct the Australian blue banded bee, and we'll just discuss the bumblebee and how that really looks and how you might want to construct that one. I hope you're going to enjoy workshop four. Thank you.